Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can sync the edit of just one picture into multiple ones to save you some time. Let's go. Okay, so here I am in Lightroom and I'm going to start editing this picture just randomly. Don't worry about what I'm doing exactly to the picture. The point of this video is to show you a tip on how you can sync multiple images with the same type of edit, okay? But just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing so that you see what I did. Okay, so I went to the profile browser. Let's just pick one at random. The Modern 4 gives a nice contrast. Uh, what else? Let's add a little bit of clarity. Where is it? Here, just a little bit. Raise the exposure a little bit. Play with the shadows, the highlights come down, down a little bit, raise the blacks. Okay, let's imagine this was the edit that I wanted, okay? It, it doesn't matter if it looks good, bad, it doesn't matter. Keep in mind this particular part, which is the cropping, and you'll notice that in a second. Um, don't worry too much about the cropping right now and you'll understand why in just a second let's pretend this was the edit for this picture okay I'm not saying it's a great picture it doesn't have to be that's not the point of this video okay now if you look at the rest of the sequence right there's no editing done to these three pictures they're from the same sequence this one is edited now by clicking selecting the first one where the edit is done press and hold shift and click on the last one right so you have all four of them selected and i press sync button here and you can remove the crop by default the crop will not be selected everything else will be so what this is going to try to do is going to try to apply the exact same editing you did on all of these settings to the other three pictures. The reason why you don't wanna have crop or why it's not there by default is because you might wanna adjust that later, okay? But you can tick it if you want to. If you're absolutely certain that your, your, your uh, cropping will be exactly the same, then leave it ticked. But for now, let's just select these, click synchronize. And now if I go back to those photos, they have the exact same edit. If I wanted the, the crop, it would crop it as well. In this case, like this one, I wouldn't use the guy's hand is cut off. This one I could, but I would need to crop tighter. And same for this one. But you see, if you have a long, long sequence and provided, of course, that uh, the lighting conditions are the same for one image, you can, apply, you can edit one and apply the same um, edit to all of the other pictures. Let's go again with a different example, right? Same thing, let's do my black and white preset. Let's raise this just a little bit. I'm gonna crop it, and this time I'm gonna apply the crop um, option as well. Now, let's put them smack in the middle, just to be sure. Okay, let's pretend this was the edit, okay? No, let's not. Okay, now, and now the sequence goes until this one. So I'm going to select the first one, shift and click until the last one, right? And then sync, and let's select the crop two, synchronize, and boom. You're all done. All the same. It's blurry as hell, so these are not good examples of good pictures like this one is terrible terrible but anyway that's not the point of this video the point of this video is showing you how you can do one edit of one picture and apply it to multiple ones if you like this video hit that thumbs up it helps a lot if you loved it subscribe and i will see you on the next one stay safe guys mm -hmm.